Hey, like Sheriff. It. I've got that slouch jug for you. So, is it harder to make one of these clay pots than it is to make a bronze sculpture? Well, Sheriff, it's a whole different process. The first thing I do is I start with my clay, which is my own mixture. I take something called a bat. Now, I have a stack of bats, and I take one of the bats and I attach it to the wheel. I have to center the clay into the center of the wheel. And to do that, I put my hands on the clay, and I bring the clay up in the air with equal pressure. And then I, when I come down on, on the clay to bring it down is when I'm actually centering it. I see. And I'm basically I'm pushing in and down. So then once the clay is centered, then I take my thumbs usually, and I go down in with my thumbs, and I make a little hole, and then I reach in and I grab the clay and I open it up. And then I also kind of bring it back in again because I want to make a tall cylinder. And then this is called pulling the wall. This is where I actually get the height of the pot. And where this is going to be a jug, I'm going to do this one actually in two parts. Okay, after I've made the two sections, I have to let them dry for a while. So that point when it's ready to put back together is called leather hard. It's not dry, but it's not too soft. So the next step would be for me to take the first pot that I made and put it back on the wheel. And then I have to, something called scoring and slipping, more words. You score and slip so that they, the, the two pieces will stick together. And I'll smooth the surface, maybe by sponge, and smooth it so you can't see where it was put together. And then it's going to be ready to put the handle on. So that's called pulling a handle. So the next step would be for me to sculpt the slouch's face on the jug. Once I have it all together, I take the jug and it's going to have to dry. And it should dry for a, a while because I don't while? want it to blow up in the kiln. I'm going to fire it in my kiln. So we'll cook it. So you have to get all the moisture out of it. I have to get all the moisture out of it. So it's And that's called bone dry. I put it in my kiln and I fire the kiln up to about 1800 degrees. And then I let it cool, usually for a day. And then I go back into the kiln, take the pot out. This is where I would start to glaze the pot. The glaze will make the pot return to a like a glass with, with colors. I put it back in and I fire it for probably 12 hours. And I fire it this time a little bit hotter. I fire it this time to about 2200 degrees. The only thing left to do at that point is to paint the face of the slouch. Normally I'd use glaze, but in this case I decided to use some acrylics so I could get some nice bright colors. Well, it came out very, very nicely. Thank you.